station. I wanted to talk about the title of the video, <laughs> navigating through the noise of aging and gray hair, going gray. And I got inspired to make this video because I wanted to just talk about all the opinions that we deal with in this reality with uh, a lot of black and white thinking, I would say, and of how you're supposed to be. You know, you're, when you're aging, you're supposed to be like this. You're supposed to act this way. You're supposed to, you know, conform to these ideals. You're supposed to, you know, do these things to be acceptable. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about this because I feel like, well, it depends on like where you are probably. Like, I think your environment has a lot to do with this. Like what you're around, um, where you live, these types of things. Um, I feel like I sort of live in a very conservative place and I don't really love it. I've been wanting to leave for a long time actually and I just haven't been able to do that but <clears throat> I prefer like I imagine myself living in like Santa Fe or something <laughs> you know somewhere where it's a little more free and people think differently um that's what I prefer for myself I'm not really like a conventional type of person so it depends on like how you are you know who you are what type of person you are but for me like I just feel that there's a lot of noise you know of like what people think you should be doing and I personally don't subscribe to those things as far as like aging like how you should act how you should dress how you should wear your hair you know you should cut your hair short you should wear these types of clothes like <laughs> I don't really subscribe to those things I feel like I just kind of want to do what I want to do and I want to live the way I want to live and wear the clothes I want to wear and whatever it is that I enjoy whether or not people think that's too young or or that's to, you know, not acting your age, or you should be doing more of these things, or whatever. So there's a lot of noise, I would call it, that we have to navigate through, and especially like as we age, and interacting with people, even. navigating through the noise of the shoulds, and what we should do, and what we shouldn't do, and what's bad, and what's good, and what makes you a good person, or a bad person, <laughs> like all of this stuff that we all all sort of deal with inside of ourselves because this is such a dualistic reality and you know we're always kind of being pitted against one another for our political views and these types of things and so like even you know aging and gray hair like this is another way in which we do this in like our society does this like judging people you know saying you let yourself go because you have gray hair like this and these belief that society or people in our environment would Ever dictate to us in a sense and we either agree to them either agree to them or we don't agree to them and that's up to us like we don't have to agree to these rules and standards and ideal I personally want to age my own way <laughs> and whatever that is for me is what I feel comfortable you know I'm not the biggest fan of doing things to myself surgically or you know those types of interventions like that's not really that's a lot authentic for me personally. Um, that doesn't mean that other people can't do that. That doesn't mean that they're wrong because they're doing that. It's just I choose not to do that. It's not to say that their values are wrong. Their values are not wrong. This is where we get into trouble. Just this is the cause of all wars in, in society is because we judge other people as wrong or what they're doing is wrong or how they're doing it is wrong or that's wrong. This is right. Like it's not either one. It's, it's, it's not right or wrong like we judge it as right or wrong it's not wrong to grow your hair out and have gray hair it's not wrong it's just what society thinks is wrong or what we buy into what we think society thinks or who is society like people in our reality like media social media tv shows and this is the thing like I've learned to in my adult life which I did not do in my youth at all and it took me a very long time to understand and to live in into my values and to put people in my reality that more more aligned with my values. Now it's not to say that you can't interact with other people that don't have your values, but most of us want to be in relationship with people that share similar values to us. And 
that's totally fine to do. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, we can be around people and allow them to be themselves. I prefer a more peaceful environment, a more peaceful reality where the people I'm in communion with align more with my values. And, you know, certain values take more precedence over others. And so that's, you know, how we navigate through reality. I think it's ideal to allow other people to have their own opinions and just, you know, live your life the way you choose. And that's, you know, what you feel is right for you. When it comes to gray hair and aging, this is very true because people have a lot of opinions about how you should be doing that and what's right or what's wrong. And it's only because they've felt the pressure potentially to do those things themselves. Maybe, I don't know, but that could be one reason. Um, projecting their own beliefs onto other people. And with my gray hair transition, like I don't really deal with a lot of like negativity or like people, people criticizing me because of my hair. But what I'm saying is dress for yourself, <laughs> wear what you want to wear, wear your hair however the hell you want to wear it. You know, live your life the way you want to live it. So annoyed when people try to impress their views on you or try to make you feel like you should be living to their views of reality. Because we all have our own perceptions of reality. Um, nobody lives in someone else's perception of reality. So it's irrelevant really how other people think you should be living. Like it's their perception of reality. I edit my reality, <clears throat> meaning I don't watch shows that make me feel like I need to go do these certain things. Um, I put in my reality women that are aging naturally. I put in my reality women that have gray hair. Not everyone in my reality has gray hair and that's fine. Most of my friends don't. They're still my friend. I'm not gonna edit them out because they don't have gray hair. What I'm saying is what I watch on the daily on a daily basis, what I consume. Like if something's promoting more so, promoting certain things that I don't that don't align with my values, I'm going to not put that in my reality as much as I can help it. And I think that's totally acceptable and fine to do. We don't have to consume everything and there's so much to consume these days that we could be you know our heads are spinning if we're consuming everything everyone's opinion everyone's you know view of the world of how we should be of aging of you know all of that stuff so I just prefer to edit my reality put in my reality things that I that align with my values that you know that aren't going to impress on my mind you know things that I might that make you feel pressured to do certain things and and so that's just kind of what I wanted to say in this video. I hope it, you know, helps somebody out there because I don't know, there's a lot, you know, a lot of noise around and things that we have to navigate around in this very, you know, polarizing reality that we live in, polarizing society, polarizing, you know, system. And I think we just all have to live into our own values and what really means, what really matters to us. And that's kind of how I try to live my life. And, you know, sometimes, you know, you contradict yourself in this world, you know, it just because you want to, you know, always be eating the most natural food. Sometimes you do, you eat pizza, you know, <laughs> sometimes you maybe, you know, imbibe too much in things and you just get back on track and you just do the best you can. Um, if you choose to grow your hair out gray and then you say, I don't like it and I don't feel good about myself and I'm coloring it, then you do. And that's okay. Like we just have to be able to, it's, we don't have to be so judgmental about every freaking decision <laughs> that we make or other people make too. You know, it's like, you don't know what's going on in someone else's head. You don't know what's going on in their life. You don't know what's going on, you know, what, what their background is, where they came from, what their beliefs are, what they've experienced. Like we don't know that about other people. And so, you know, everyone doesn't have to conform to this box of reality and who every, you know, what's normal. There is no such thing as normal. And so, you know, it's just what you put your attention on. That's what really counts, ultimately. Um, you know, what you put your attention on, what you put your focus on, what your values are. And that's what, you know, we just need to be true to that, ultimately. And at least that's my opinion. <laughs> and navigating through the noise of reality, of, a of through aging and through, you know, gray hair and all of this stuff. And I, I also wanted to mention that the people that I've admired the most in life are people that went against the grain. Those people live by their 
own rules. They're not worrying about what other people are thinking. They're living by their own rules. They're, you know, living their own style. They're doing their own thing. They're being their authentic selves. These are the people that I admire the most. You know, people that are really willing to just be themselves in this world and not try to like conform to other people's expectations and standards. And musicians, like famous, like Prince, you know, <laughs> Prince didn't care what other people thought about him. I mean, he was him himself. He was his own person. And that's why he became the icon that he is because he lived his own way. He's lived life on his terms. Stevie Nicks is another person that I was thinking about. You know, she's somebody else who, well, that people, you know, idolized her because she, she was her unique self. And, you know, people that live on their own terms, they don't try to conform to other people's expectations. And, you know, that's how I want to live my life. So I just wanted to share that today. If you like this content, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the video. Thank you.